Hey guys, Lightstar here, and it is activation time once again for the Lionsgate portal. We are going to do some pre-activation with this one. So it's going to lead up. I'm going to do a series here, and this is the first of the activations in this series for the Lionsgate this year. So I have a very special theme for it as well. So you're going to want to tune in and get some activation and some preparation for the upcoming Lionsgate portal. So let's get into it right now. Hello, hello, this is Lightstar again, back on the channel for another episode of our awesomeness that we're continuing on here. So welcome to everyone. We're gonna start out today working on a field of energy that is going to be in preparation for our upcoming Lion's Gate that we have every year. And this year I'm going to do a series. I did this last time and I'm gonna do another series here, um, mini series, if you will. And this one is really about, I would say the theme, okay, for this year is going to be radical change. So everything we're gonna be doing up until and through the Lionsgate portal um, that is happening through like really July and the beginning of August, or middle of August, July and August area. And what we're gonna be doing is clearing the field, but before we clear the field, what I'm gonna to do today is to help to establish kind of a preparation here for the shifts to happen for this time of the year. And like I said, for me, the download that I was getting was radical change. And so I hope you guys are enjoying this content. And if you are, or if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And YouTube likes to call it subscribe. I like to call it joining the tribe or joining the community. I think that sounds much better and more inviting. And if you are down there clicking around, make sure you hit that like button on the video and give it a thumbs up and also share the content out to people that you know would be interested in this type of material and content and make sure you comment and engage. I love to engage and interact with you guys in the comments section and make sure that you click the notifications bell so that you won't miss a thing when new videos come out. And I am looking forward to bringing more content as always. And I'd love to have you guys join the community. That's what we're gonna be focusing on. So radical change is kind of like, whoa, that's kind of a scary theme, right? Um, but what we're gonna focus on today is bringing in the higher levels of joy and um, harmony and fulfillment and empowerment because rather, because when we go through change, it's sometimes a bit scary, a bit unknown. We don't know what's gonna happen. And right now I feel like there's just an enormous amount of change coming in for everyone, okay? Everyone is feeling this at some level in your life. And that can sometimes be overwhelming. So what I wanted to do was to bring in, uh, you know, the feelings and sensations of joy and happiness and harmony and set that template so that when we go through some of the cleansing in the next one and some of the upgrades and changes and walking through the gateway, we can go through it a lot easier and without so much struggle. And so that's kind of what the theme is for this year is to activate, but also provide that base level foundation so that we can feel strong and supported and happy and joyful in our lives throughout this uh, process that we're going to go through of opening up and activating and walking through a gateway of radical change. So what I want to do is bring up an image that I, one of my images, um, which is typically called empowerment. And this one, I, it's from my uh, first edition Magical Dimensions Oracle deck, which is in there and in that one and also on my website for sale because all my images are for sale. But this one is really emulating that empowerment, you know, phase of like what it's like, wow, well, yes, I got it. Yes, I did it. And so I want to set up the template before we go through this process of integration and cleansing and all that so that we feel our empowerment. We feel that strong sense of 
yes, an accomplishment and I did it and yes, pat yourself on the back. Like see it, see it as if it's already done, right? See it as if it's already completed because it truly is. And so that's what I want to work with today was that is that energy of that and, and awakening that um, template within you that can help to, you know, walk through these times of turbulence with the most grace and ease that we can. And right now, like I said, there has been a lot of change. Now I'm experiencing this in my own life. So don't think that I'm like, oh, it's just you guys and I'm all, yay, like everything's all good here. No, I am getting, uh, in my life, it's causing changes and radical change in areas of my, like for instance, software programs that I've been using, like all of a sudden this doesn't work anymore with something else or uh, something I find out about that other company that I'm like, oh gosh, now I have to switch the whole thing and change everything and move over here and change that and shift that and start using things different ways. And I had to completely get a new email, uh, my email set up differently than I was before. And, and then I'm looking at some of the things that I don't need anymore or like just things that are off to the wayside. So I'm making this whole huge overhaul in the technology department here where I'm making some pretty big things. And, and I'm also working on, you know, building a whole portal for you guys and have been working on that. And, uh, hopefully that's going to be coming out soon. It's just been an enormous undertaking because it's just me here doing it all my lonesome trying to catch up with everything. So I have been under that process of undergoing a major shift and major change in the way that I do things, my workflow, my software programs, the things I'm doing, taking a look at all that and changing. Um, so there's some other things changing in, in my life as well, but that's just one big area that's, that's shifting for myself. So it might be that a different area for you, look at your life and see what is on the horizon to be shifted or overhauled. You know, it might be a health challenge for you. It might be a career change. It might be uh, something you've been putting off, a relationship shift or, or enhancement. You know, something in your life, where is it hitting? What area is it hitting you? And everyone just sort of identify that because that's gonna be important through the process, or maybe it's a, maybe it's a combination of a couple different areas. So also just take note of that too. You can work on a few different things, but for now, we're just going to set this like happy and joyful thing. Like, yay, this is a good thing, right? Looking at things that come up, even with a health challenge, things come up for a reason because they need to be looked at. Like, what are we not looking at? Right? Usually causes a health problem in some way, shape or form. You have to look at like what's been going on and where you've been trying to go. You know, and for me, a lot of you guys know that I actually had a process where I went through six months of a broken arm and it was just a, oh my gosh, it took me off my feet, literally. Uh, well, not off, you know, it was my arm. So, but I couldn't, I mean, it was my right arm doing stuff too, you know, mouse, computer, like it completely just shifted everything for me. And then it seems like after that whole process, cause now I can use my arm again, yay. And it's just, you know, pretty much healed. I have a little bit of like, you know, stiffness still, but it took a very long process, very painful for about three, four months, like of severe pain, like all the time, especially when I slept. And then, you know, another whole process after being out of the sling for six weeks of getting her whole arm to like, remember how to use it and heal and, and then, you know, use it again. So movement was um, difficult for me, but I also see that it was a process for me to slow down and kind of time out for a minute here, reassess. And so I want you guys to do that in your own life where you've been seeing the, the opportunities for you to see these things and see them as new per, from new perspectives that really shifted things. Cause I know for me, it shifted things a lot for me, um, just having that experience of the broken arm and then healing in the process and everything I went through. So where is it in your life? And let's put the template out there for the radical change and the shift and the, the turbulence and everything else to just be nullified that that turbulence part of it is just going to be showing you things that you need to look at, whether you have fear coming up or whatnot, whatever comes up, know that it's coming up for a reason 
know that you have to look at what it is. It's just giving you information. That's really all fear is. It's just giving you information that perhaps you haven't looked at and that it's coming up going, hello, I'm over here. Take a look, you know, someplace that me might not have been looking at, but this needs attention over here. And so that's really what we're going to be doing. So set up that in your own life. Just put your focus on where in your own life or what areas you want to set that beautiful template of harmony and success and empowerment to strengthen through this process and through joy and having that, that joyful, I know for me, like having a broke arm is not joyful, but I also got to experiment and explore using my left arm or my left hand a lot more. And I was actually kind of happy about that because you know, it was kind of fun and I didn't even realize that I, cause I hadn't used it at all really. And so it gave some activity to this side of me and it just kind of gave like a little bit of a different perspective on things. So just look at where your life, however small, where the benefit can be in the beauty in, um, and see that as, you know, and see your situation as already resolved and already changed for the better on the other side, but in this moment. Okay. So that's what I want you guys to do while I'm just going to do a little light language activation while you're watching this, get feeling that energy of, yes, I've fulfilled this. Yes. I've done this. Yes. I've walked through this gateway. Yes. I've traversed over these hurdles. Yes. I see myself on the other end right here and right now. Okay. That's your job <laughs> on that end. We're going to set the template of that with the energy here. Okay. So just put your mind off to the side and we're going to do a little light language activation to activate this within you and to allow this to come uh, a little more to the surface to have you, you know, embrace your, your new template that we're going to do, um, in this, in this, uh, first phase of the radical shift, radical change, I'm not doing the radical change yet. Although this is a radical change. Yes, you are doing that but we're going to get to some of the clearing phases and, and stepping into it a little bit later. So tune into that, focus on that and let's go. Radiras dare, harotari dalelas, barombarati varangite sa, suru varroko ruto stoi dare karanara daran. Urubarashtari tara, suto baram dake, rubashti tarnindi, uturog vrani tas tara karani, uraftarin arak dishtara, notorashin dani dararak, hurvarashtir hantari aranara sufropakarir, urvaris taran diraro, hurashi karamba karesto tovrade. Paragurush to Rokoni Tardi Karastarum Hurvashtivra Surandi Takaranda Rashande Hurvisha Tarmar Ustari Kedivrindi Rasta Hurvarish Tevri Karane Uma Roma 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 Jaran Darasta Rorarisarindi Rantar Maurvarush to Kurandi Sirividi des da rangari uraku grashta kadira umbarade yasu marara de stir horvardide. Dirindiri era marukurasti rizandara ramanti frondurushte urungarashtani urumagreste dinari rokruviti taribere de ramrakati horvarasharana. Ari arrano kurvasti vahran di kerevi di arno nunu mara tiri di kurusto kurro koria tari nimro kurro paran dari rasta rangari tora kurro marasti darra katari etera ni dari sa dari jasa nunu kurro paran ini adari kari kurusto rovari dari sanara Undari duro vrashti rani kiri aruko vraji uro marjanda raki amararjanda raki tero urati initi kur vrashti kreni atrakash to rukuti rejishana karuko ro 
Uroa festa in noro barretitera. Cari in noro bacatira chi shondo vraki. Si pigani tarkira andarro. Urok vride atanani roko rosandi suvradi terran grashtira. Nuno varati tarika ruto socorrendi urbarati tari. E rindi ided urwakaten urovraste randi rikardara. Nu marketir randi da grasht. Sondai de tarma kuvrati te atukura. Sotori i tarvienea. Rota di gira kenita kalia ratiso urvati shatera kurumba rata. Sarevide ira rari tu kuvrati de ashtahrani. Rietar kurova kadietar yana da kurro tia. Chachira ruporvar. Tiri vidiri sarrar, duro vrahatar mira, radi sarraradir, urvrahashtiri. Turendire horomash vrahit. Take a nice deep breath in and feel the joy within your heart. Feel that welling up of the wellspring of the joy coming forth for the changes that you're about to make and shift into how happy you are that all of these things have happened because look at what you've got now. So see that perspective shift into a place of opportunity, a place of happiness and joy and benefit that it is in your life, that things are unfolding and blossoming instead of being compressed and depressed and stressed and pressurized see it actually as releasing the pressure and seeing that joy of actually sailing through your situations with grace and ease and just breathe those codes in of this lion's gate preparation phase for bringing in that newness and that energy of joy and happiness and letting that just sink in So great job, you guys. Really cool. There's a lot of frequencies coming in there. So hold on to this as you go through the Lion's Gate portal and breathe that in with this sense of that ease and grace and perspective and joy and harmony and balance and upliftment so that you can get through the next few months with this process of unfolding and so I will be back also to do again another one um, to help this process along as we walk through this time period. And so for now, if you'd like to work with me privately, I have all sorts of good things for you on my website. So go check out all of my sessions, which I have many private sessions for you that I can help you with to help um, through this process and beyond. Uh, my starseed alignment sessions, my healing shield attunement sessions, my transitional recalibration sessions, packages, all that good stuff that I can help you out with. Plus I've got all my art, which is really healing and activating in and of itself. And I have the artwork for sale. I have a lot of music and all of my music uh, downloads are for sale also. Well, you can also go to my Light Stars Magical Sanctuary on my YouTube channel, which also provides all of my uh, musical activation and my visual activation animated. So I'm animating the, uh, the uh, artwork that I have and then also making the music and activations with it too. Um, light language is in there and toning and all sorts of good stuff there. And you can also purchase the uh, download of the um, art of the music as well. So go check all that stuff out because it's there to assist you and to uplift you and I will be back soon. Also, I have some new things coming out, so check out my shop all page on my storefront because you'll see I really have, I, you will see I have some new merch that's coming out um, that is coming soon, or if it's not, or it might be up already, I don't know, depending on when I film and get this all going. But check all that stuff out on my website because I have some new things coming up and i will be back for more activation for sure so signing off from the galactics the elementals the angelics the fairies all the beings of light that love you and your higher self that loves you 
and I will be back with more activation very soon. Bye for now. If you'd like to support my journey and helping to bring more content to YouTube and provide all this activation and goodness for you guys, please consider providing a donation to my work and you can do that in many different ways. If you head on over to my website at lightstarcreations.com, you'll also see a donation page on there where it has many different forms for you to provide your donation. I have a vibrational giving a certain specified dollar amount that is aligned with a certain frequency and you can give that way or you can become a patron on Patreon or you can actually just donate whatever that feels in resonance with you. And there's also super thanks on YouTube and that is the little heart button that is next to the like button below the video and you can also donate that way. And something that I do for anyone who donates to my work, I send a remote light language blissing of love and abundance and support right back to you. It's my way of saying thank you for your donation. And I so appreciate all of you who have donated and all my patrons. I love you guys and thank you so much for your continued love and support. And another way to support me is to just head on over to my website and make a purchase of one of my awesome products and services that I have to help you to activate and to enlighten you and to bring more light and love into your life. So head on over there and check out all the different things I have, many different types of products and services for you. And once again, I extend my love and gratitude and appreciation to all of you who have extended your support to me in the past. I love you guys and I thank you for everything.